All right, so we're uh, out in the garage again today, just working on the injection molding machine. I have made a little bit of progress um, that I don't have any footage of me doing yet, but I'll just uh, show you. It was only a little bit anyway. So um, you'll see here, I've started work on uh, a control panel of sorts. Um, I got my extra levers in the mail the other day, so I thought I'd put those in. Bit of a rough job, but um, it's all about uh, function over form, I guess. Um, so they come in pairs for each of the three pneumatic cylinders. Um, as discussed before, the cylinders that I, uh, or well the the levers that I got, each lever will only con will only control one direction, either up or down. So I had to pair them. Um, give me up or down and I'm making a bar clamp to clamp the two levers together so they move the same. Um, now this panel here is just out of a sheet of uh, aluminium. I'll just show you where it's going. Alright, so you can see I've now um, made a cut out here so this is going to fit down here as our control panel. Um, I do have I do have a piano hinge here that's going to sit across the top, like so, so that that can hinge up and give me access to the controls underneath if need be. Um, uh, the electrics will sit on this side, so thermostat control, on and off switch, etc. Okay, now the other thing I received in the mail today is another air ram, uh, just another cheapie from. China. I purchased this uh, to do the the clamping plates, or one side anyway. Um, still not entirely convinced that this was the right one to go for, but it seemed the right decision at the time. It's just a purchase off eBay. I think it cost me all of about I think it was about 20 bucks in postage, something like that. Um, and it's actually got a 200 millimeter stroke. Um, now in terms of how to fit this in, uh, there's a variety of ways um, that it can be done. Um, and I've, I think I'm going to opt for the simplest, which I think would be best. Um, so I'll just take you in and show you uh, some of the options that I was considering. So I don't know if you can pick this up, but I was just doing some thinking on with some pen here and I was thinking if these were the two clamps here, I could mount the cylinder underneath and have a, a lever system that pulls it straight down. That way I could neatly have the cylinder fit underneath the table. Um, the only problem with that is that uh, with a 200 millimeter stroke, um, really even from the middle, if this was the clamping plate on the left hand side here, um, the longest I could have each of these levers is about 80 millimetres, um, so maximum 80 millimetre drop with a 200 millimetre stroke doesn't quite work out. So then I thought maybe I could lever it off to the side and have this pitched at an angle and various holes here so that I could control um, or vary the amount that the plate slides out when the cylinder compresses and all this sort of stuff. But, in the end, uh, I think I'm going to go for the easiest option, which is just to run it straight in from the side. Um, so what I've got, I've just got out of the scrap metal bin, a piece of pipe here. Um, just the right size for our cylinder to fit in here. Um, and what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to pop it straight through the side here um, and weld that in place. Um, that way the cylinder can sit inside. What I'll do is I'll drill a series of holes um, along the edges here that I can run a pin through here. That way I can adjust how far up and down this is. And um, when this is fully extended um, right to the end like that, it will run this centre plate all the way through to the end, uh, to, the, to the middle at least anyway. Um, the downside of this obviously is I do end up with a permanent pipe sticking out the side and um, I'm in no doubt that every time I try and walk past this and I crack my leg on this thing I'll be cursing that I went this way but 
Uh, I just think it's the simplest, simplest way to do it rather than having levers and mo more moving parts. Um, I, re I really just want to get this thing going. So the plan for today is to find a spot to place this in the middle, get a hole through here, get our holes drilled in this for the pin and uh, push that through. So I'll make some progress on that and I'll bring you back.
Alright, so there we go, that's on there, good inside. Uh, weldings, yeah, not too bad for an amateur, I reckon, or self taught. Certainly good enough. The other side is a little bit uglier, but um, you know, again, it'll work. That's in there good and solid. It's certainly, um, it's uh, focus. There we go. So it's certainly not going anywhere. So the idea now is that this we've got holes along the side here that I'll be able to run a pin through corresponding with the hole in the end. We can run this through here. And it'll pump out. Although looking at that now uh, I've got the same issue that I have with the upright one or the Z axis is that um, so I didn't give that any thought did I? Yeah, there's always something. Still need access to these here and this one here. Oh. All right, so at least they're going to be in an upright position. Uh, crap. All right, so that might mean that's as far forward as it can go. If I cut a strip out of the top of this pipe here, I'll just have a look and see how far that extends. I'll take these stoppers out. Excuse the camera motion. So I'll extend that fully. Let me assume that's as far as I can go to there. Let's see if we line it up with the last hole, that's to there. So that still takes us, if we come back to here, it takes us to halfway, so that's ample. So what I'm going to have to do is probably drill, drill a hole in the pipe here, and one for that hole there to get the air supply in, and if we go back to the furthest point there, so drill another corresponding hole for each of the two airports there and there and then I'll run a strip between the two with the angle grinder yeah that'll work well that should be that problem solved, I'll bring you back once that's done alright so there we go, we've got these holes drilled in here now um, just for a quick demo, I'll run a, a bolt through there and hook the air hoses up. They're leaking just because I haven't sealed them off with Teflon tape. I've got it hooked up to our control panel here, to these ones here, so just to show you. Oh, that come up on camera, there we go. Uh, still got a few bugs to iron out um, this just isn't sliding the way I want it seems to be binding on this side so I don't know if perhaps I'm better off cutting these pieces of tube off shorter or perhaps not having them in there at all and having the plate looser um, I don't know that's going to take a little bit of trial and error I think that's next, but um, anyway, that's progress for today.